What's up, awesome YouTubers? Ryan 1988 or Justin back here to do a movie update for you. And this is everything that I picked up since my last update and some stuff that I've forgotten to show um, from previous updates that I want to talk about and kind of give you my opinions on some of these I've seen. Um, but I wanted to do an update today because I got a good stack of movies, a lot of great deals, honestly, either in stores or online, some brand new movies that I found online and um you know some trades uh, or trade with a buddy of mine that i want to go over uh towards the end of the video uh but we got some 4ks here we got some blu-rays we got some dvds actually got a couple dvds and um, i want to go over all these with you and talk about these and if i haven't seen the movies i'll let you know but um, some are upgrades from Blu-ray, some are first time, you know, movies in my collection, brand new movies, movies that have been out for a long time. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this update. And um, once again, just thank you all so much for your love and support um, for the 4,000 subscribers that I've reached. Um, I think I'm a little over 4,000 now. Um, so just thank you all so much for your love and support. It uh, truly means a lot to me, guys, and um, you guys are the best. So. Thank you for liking the videos. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for watching. It really means a lot to me. And uh, stay tuned for more videos to come, more live chats to come. And uh, once again, you guys are awesome. You guys are the best. So uh, getting started, we got two DVDs real quick. Uh, the first one I actually got at Walmart. It's three movies um, in a pack. And that is Beethoven uh, 1, 2, and 3. Hopefully I said that right. Beethoven? Um, but anyway, I uh, wanted to pick this up. I don't know if these have Blu-rays. I don't think they do. I've never seen people uh, show them off in an update on Blu-ray, or I don't think they've even been, been mentioned on Blu-ray yet um, or been released on Blu-ray. Uh, so I picked up this triple pack for $5 at Walmart. Um, all these are pretty much nostalgic movies for me, especially the first two films. I grew up with those the most. And I remember the third one being pretty good and pretty entertaining when I was a kid. So, you know, these movies might not hold up now when I watch them, but I definitely wanted to add those to the collection. I'm always looking forward to picking up nostalgic movies. And uh, since these don't, since these don't have Blu-rays, um, I'll definitely stick with the DVD. So $5 for all three of these movies. You can't beat it. And I wanted to add that to the collection. Um, the next movie I picked up at Big Lots. I do not know anything about this movie. I've never seen it. Um, but my buddy Doug or Doug Lander recommended the movie. And he said it was great. And that is Beginners with the late uh, Christopher Plummer. Ewan McGregor's in this movie. So um, my buddy Doug said it's a really good film. So I'm looking forward to watching this one and checking it out at some point. I think that was $3 at Big Lots. So that was a really good deal. Um, going on to the next three movies, um, when I picked up The Beginners, I picked up some uh, Blu-rays, and these are all like older catalog titles, but stuff I did not own in the collection. Uh, the first one is Case 39. I remember seeing this movie when it first came out on DVD back in 2009 or 2010, and I remember really enjoying it. It's been a long time since I've seen it, so I don't remember too much about it, so pretty much going in, you know, kind of... Uh, with a fresh mind, um, kind of an open mind. And uh, I'm looking forward to revisiting this one um, this October season. So or this month or next month in October. But um, it's going to be a good spooky season watch. So Case 39, great cast here. And uh, from what I remember, I liked it. So I'm looking forward to watching it or rewatching it uh, again, kind of going in fresh. Uh, the next one is an Angelina Jolie movie. I remember seeing this movie when it first came out on DVD, renting it from the video store. And I remember really liking it. And for $3, I said, this is a great deal. And that is Salt. Um, so don't know too much again. I Well, I, I, I know about the movie because I've seen it, but I don't remember the movie too much. It's been 10 years since I've seen this or, you know, 11 years, whenever this movie came out. But uh, Salt, I wanted to pick that one up. Again, this was $3 or $5. Pretty good, well, a great deal for this, uh, for a movie that I don't really remember too much for or remember too much of. So I'm looking forward to watching Salt and uh, revisiting that one. And then I picked up Disturbia, which I've only seen once when it came out on DVD in 07 or 08. I think it's 07. Uh, but Disturbia, I remember liking this one. It's a good, you know, Shia LaBeouf movie. 
good thriller, a modern kind of rear window, uh, you know, body double movie. You know, we've had a rear window, body double, um, so many other movies with the same premise of this. But um, Disturbia, I'm looking forward to revisiting that one. I remember it being a pretty good film, so looking forward to checking that one out. Uh, going into some other pickups, I went to Walmart the other day and I picked up the Shudder original movie. I love a great shark film, so I'm looking forward to watching this. And it says it's the executive producers, executive producers of 40 meters down, 47 meters down, and that is Great White. So again, I don't know anything about this, but I'm a sucker for a shark movie. So hopefully this one's good. And I'm a big fan of the first 47 meters down, so I'm looking forward to uh, watching this one. Um, and, you know, if you guys want to hear my reviews and my thoughts on movies, if I don't re don't review them on my YouTube channel, I do review and talk about movies on my Instagram page. So I will leave my Instagram page down in the description if you guys want to hear my thoughts on first time, you know, movies that I'm going to watch and review. Um, I'll post them there. And then I also talk about other movies and movie related stuff, um, you know, on that Instagram page. So definitely go and follow me on Instagram and um, uh, you guys can hear my thoughts on all these movies uh, once I watch them. Uh, going into some movies that I picked up at a place called, place called Game Exchange. Um, the first one is the Darkman Trilogy. So I got this for $5.99. Um, I know these are available from Scream Factory or Shout Factory, but for $5.99, and you really can't beat the deal. So uh, Darkman, directed by Sam Raimi. I don't remember that movie too much, so I'm looking forward to watching it. And I remember Darkman 2 and Darkman 3 on USA quite a bit. They played these movies so much on USA. So I think I remember those movies a little bit more than the first movie. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to watching these. I think the first one is definitely probably going to be the best. I love Sam Raimi um, as a director. He's one of my favorites. And uh, Darkman 2 and 3, they'll probably be fun. Um, again, I remember watching those. I think Liam Neeson is in the first one. And Billy Zane, I think, is Darkman in 2 and 3. So, uh, But yeah, the Darkman trilogy for $5.99 used, but in great condition at a place called Game Exchange. If you have a Game Exchange around you, they um, not only have games for sale, but they have DVDs, Blu-rays, 4Ks, um, a lot of other cool stuff there. Uh, but yeah, you can find some great deals and great finds there. So the Darkman Trilogy. And this was a really good deal. This was brand new when I bought it. Uh, this was $14.99. And normally this, go this goes for like $19.99 on Amazon. And that is the Airport Complete uh, Collection right here. So all of the airport movies. I am a big fan of disaster movies. I love disaster movies, especially, you know, the 70s ones like uh, Poseidon Adventure and Towering Inferno being two of my favorites. And I'm always looking forward to picking up more of those early disaster films and any type of disaster movie. Um, I will watch those. And most of the time or majority of the time, I'm very entertained by them. So I'm looking forward to watching these. I've never seen any of these airport movies. Of course, all these movies have, you know, great, you know, cast members from uh, the 70s and kind of uh, before that and after that. I think Linda Blair might be in one of these movies. And then you got some other great names um, in these films. So these are just fun movies to watch. I've heard Airport is actually a really good movie. And then after that, I, I really haven't heard too much about the other film. So. But uh, for $14.99, brand new at Game Exchange, I had to pick this one up and own it in my collection. Again, I'm a sucker for disaster movies. I love them so much. So uh, looking forward to watching these ones soon, or those movies soon. Uh, then we got some 4K upgrades. This one came out this past Tuesday, and I'm really excited to own another Carpenter movie on 4K. And I haven't watched the transfer yet, but I've heard great things about it. Huge shout out to my buddy Ken from Mid-Level Media. He just did a review on both the Thing movies. So if you haven't seen those yet, definitely go check out those videos. And definitely go check out my buddy Ken's channel, Ken's channel, uh, Mid-Level Media. He has a great channel. Big fan of his channel, guys, so please go check him out. Uh, but he reviewed The Thing on 4K, uh, John Carpenter's The Thing. He reviewed The New Thing from 2011 as well, but he reviewed this 4K. Um, he, you know, gave it high praise, so very cool there. And um, 
Yeah, I am looking forward to watching this on 4K. I'm a big fan of this movie. You guys know that I'm a big fan of John Carpenter himself. I love a majority of his movies, and I really enjoy most of the other films. Um, the movies that I've seen from Carpenter, in my opinion, there's not a bad one. Obviously, there's the weakest ones, and then there are the movies that are definitely the strongest. This is definitely one of the strongest ones for me, so I'm looking forward to watching this on 4k guys it's gonna be one of those movies that i watch during you know the halloween spooky season so i might watch it this month i might watch it next month but i'm definitely gonna watch it soon and if you guys want to see a review of the 4k transfer giving you guys my thoughts on this just let me know down in the comments below if you guys want to see a standalone review of me talking about the 4k of the thing um i own you know any of the uh, Carpenter movies on 4K, except for Escape from New York. I own everything else on 4K that is available on 4K from John Carpenter. Uh, but yes, The Thing, looking forward to watching that one, guys. Uh, the next three I actually got on eBay. And most of the time, these uh, movies go for $19.99, $22.99. At one point, part two was the hardest one to find. And when I went on eBay one day, these were brand new. The original films were $16.49 a piece. That's the cheapest I've seen these. And then the newest movie was $12.99. Uh, so the first one is Ghostbusters on 4K. I've heard great things about this transfer. I've actually heard great things about this one and the next one I'm going to talk about. But uh, yeah, Ghostbusters on 4K. This is one of my favorite movies and one of my favorite movies growing up. So... I'm looking forward to watching this on 4K. Um, I'm thinking either watch them in November when the new movie comes out or watch them in October, but I'm definitely gonna watch these soon on 4K and uh, I look forward to checking out the transfers. I've heard really good things about these transfers and um, a lot I found them for a great price. You know, eBay is sometimes hit and miss. Sometimes you'll find movies that are overpriced and other times you'll find some really good deals on here or on eBay. And finding the Ghostbuster movies on 4K, that is the greatest find, or one of the greatest finds for me on eBay for the great price that I found them for. But there is Ghostbusters. Uh, then we have Ghostbusters 2, which I know a lot of people, or this movie's kind of 50-50 with people, with people. Either people love this movie or don't love this movie. I've always loved this movie. And uh, fun fact, I was almost named Oscar after the baby from this movie. My uh, my mom wanted to name me Oscar. My dad was like, we're not doing that. His name's gonna be either Jason or Justin, but I was almost an Oscar. So there's a little fun fact about Ryan 1988, but uh, Ghostbusters 2, guys. Uh, again, this is 50-50 with people, but I remember loving this movie and uh, I look forward to uh, watching that one again soon. And I know this movie is not uh, well liked by a lot of people, but I remember, well, I do love this movie, and that is the Ghostbusters from 2016. While it's not as strong as like the first one or maybe even the second movie, I do love this movie. Um, I had a great time seeing it in theaters. And yes, you know, again, it's not well liked by a lot of people, but I think the cast is great. And I remember just having a good time with this movie. So. I'm looking forward to re-watching it on 4K. This one was $12.99 brand new, and the uh, two other movies were $16.49 brand new. So looking forward to watching those. Um, the next one I picked up is also an eBay find. Uh, this is a brand new movie on 4K. Um, it just came out on DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K. Uh, 4K normally going for $29.99 in stores. Uh, I saved $10. I found it online. And that is In the Heights. I uh, found it on eBay. Again, eBay finds, you can find some great stuff on there for great prices. Uh, in the Heights, I have not seen this one yet. I know it came out in theaters this year and on HBO Max. I just missed it. So I'm looking forward to watching it on 4K. I bet it's going to look great on 4K. And um, I've heard kind of um, great to mix things about this movie. But uh, I'm a big musical fan and, you know, I will watch pretty much any musical and, you know, they're either going to be great or not great. But most of the time I love or really enjoy all the musicals I've seen. So in the Heights, I'm looking forward to watching that one. Um, and then going on to some great finds, some steelbooks, some things I'm really happy to own in my collection. Uh, this I had at one point and I got rid of it. I thought, well, I don't need all the different uh, versions of this movie. 
the different cuts of the film. But um, I'm a big fan of Ridley Scott's Blade Runner. And this thing was going for like normally almost $100. And I got this used on eBay pretty much in, you know, uh, perfect condition. And that is the five disc um, complete collector's edition of Blade Runner. So got this for $17.49 online, guys. Uh, really cool thick case. This comes with all the different um, cuts of Blade Runner, Ridley Scott's Blade Runner, the theatrical cut, the work print, the final cut. Um, I do own the final cut on 4K. Um, it looks amazing on 4K. That's one of my favorite 4Ks I own. It's one of my favorite sci-fi films and one of my favorite um, Ridley Scott movies. Um, one of my favorite movies in general. So uh, when I found out this was going out of print or was out of print and going for a lot of money, I wanted to try to add this back in the collection and pick it up. And so I'm glad I found it for a great price. And uh, $17.49, that was a great deal. Great deal. Uh, brand new, practically brand new um, when it normally goes for almost $100. I do like that kind of shine that it has there. Um, again, this has all the different cuts of the movie and bonus features and all of that. So really excited to um, own this back in the collection. Uh, again, I had this at one point and when I got the 4K, I'm like, I don't need this anymore. I can get rid of this. But, you know, if I if I love a movie and it's one of my favorite films, I would love to own like pretty much any version of the film that I can of the movie. And, um, you know, this is something that will probably never get a re-release again with all like the, the different versions of the film. Um, so I'm glad I was able to track it down again. So, but yeah, love Blade Runner, guys. Again, one of my favorite movies, favorite Ridley Scott movies, favorite sci-fi films. If you've never seen this, definitely check it out somehow. Um, if you have a 4K player and if you want a fantastic 4K Blade Runner looks and sounds amazing. That's one of my favorites. And if you happen to find this five film set or just get the, you know, standard Blu-ray of the movie, um, you know, pick it up, guys. It's worth owning. It's worth seeing. Um, I love Blade Runner. So Harrison Ford, Sean Young, um, blanking on some names, Rudger Hauer's in this, Rudger Hauer, the late Rudger Hauer's in this movie. Um... And uh, I am blanking on the other actress's name in this movie um, from Splash. And I'm just I'm blanking on her name. Uh, what is her name? Can't remember. Can't remember it right now. I'll leave it in the comments somewhere. But anyway, just a great cast in this film, guys. Some early performances from people, um, some, you know, great actors and actresses in this movie. Um, so yes, Blade Runner, I am looking forward to uh, re-watching this at some point. So I almost said I'm looking forward to watching this. It's one of my favorite movies. I'm just looking forward to re-watching this at some point. And again, this is a really awesome addition to own. Um, so yes, I will open this up for you. It actually came with the booklet, which is really neat. And then you have the final cut of the movie. You have the making of Blade Runner. You have the theatrical, international, and director's cut. So you got a lot of different versions of the film on here. Uh, then you have the um, enhancement archive. So more extras and everything there. Daryl Hannah, that is her name. Okay. Daryl Hannah from Splash and so many other great movies. And then you have the work print right there. So a lot of different um, cuts of the movie, a lot of bonus features. Uh, once again, I'm just really excited to have this. So I wanted to show that off. Um, I'm glad I found it again. You know, we do it, you know, we get rid of things and then we kind of regret it or we want it back in the collection. And so I'm glad I found that. That's one of the ones that I, you know, rebought. So uh, this next one is a steel book. I don't think I showed this in my last update. I totally forgot to show it. And that is Mortal Kombat, the latest Mortal Kombat movie. Best Buy exclusive steelbook from my buddy Doug or Doug Lander. Um, I know this thing went out of print fast, like it sold out quick. Um, this is one of my favorite video game adaptations, guys. One of my favorite movies from the year. Is it perfect? No, but it is so much fun, guys. And I had an awesome time with this movie. So I'm looking forward to revisiting this on 4K. I might have seen this movie at least two or three times in theaters. I 
had a blast with Mortal Kombat. And it's by far the best Mortal Kombat movie, but there's a lot of nostalgic for me with those first two films. I know Annihilation is not a great movie. It's so bad it's good in my opinion. When it comes to the Mortal Kombat movies, the best ones are the original 95 movie and this movie, but I'm glad I have this on Steelbook. I have the other Steelbook with the first two movies in it that Best Buy released. So, and I really like the uh, image here. So you got Scorpion and Sub-Zero on the back. Uh, really neat and um, very excited to own that. So thank you to my buddy Doug for picking that up for me. Uh, and then uh, one of the last, but I have two things to talk about after this, but the last uh, new pickup that I got was a trade with my buddy Pat. Uh, shout out to Pat. He is just awesome. A uh, great friend of mine that I've known for a long time and through YouTube. So really, really awesome guy. So we've done a lot of trades in the past um, and he picked this up for me. Uh, really excited to own this finally on 4K. I know it's been released on 4K before. I'm glad I waited because this is a beautiful edition on 4K. And a shout out to uh, Brian Goes Blue and Coco 2. I know they talked about this recently in an update. And that is Labyrinth on 4K. Or, you know, we've had the, we've talked about it before at least. And I know they picked it up and they talked about it. And um, so I had to pick it up as well. Labyrinth is one of my favorite films of all time. It's a childhood favorite movie of mine, and it's something that I wanted to own on 4K. I almost decided to pick up the standard 4K, but this is a beauty. I'm glad I did a trade with my buddy Pat on Labyrinth, and this is the 35th anniversary edition. So you got uh, Jennifer Conley and David Bowie on the front, the Goblin King and Sarah. Uh, you got the back right there. You got plenty of bonus features on top of some new kind of fun bonus features that they put um, exclusively um, on this 4K. So very cool there. Um, you know, auditions with a lot of actresses that you would have known um, back when um, they were auditioning for this movie. And now like Molly Ringwald auditioned for Sarah you had Tracy Gold from Growing Pains. You had so many um, actresses. Jill Sholin, who was one of my favorite, you know, screen queens and just actresses from the 80s and 90s. She auditioned for the, the role of Sarah before Jennifer Conley got it. Um, so that's a really cool bonus feature. Um, I popped this movie in on 4K. It's the best the movie's ever looked. I I loved it on four. I loved it on Blu-ray. I thought the remastered Blu-ray looked great, but um, this actually looks better. Like I'm so happy I decided to get this on 4K. So thank you to uh, Brian Goes Blue and Coco Two for talking about this and you know recommending this. But um, also thank you to my buddy Pat for doing this trade. He picked this one up for me. So. Uh, thank you, Pat, for this. Um, I'll open this up real quick. You got a nice slip cover, slip cover here, kind of a you know clear slip cover protects the um, um, the out the the inner 4K. But um, but yeah, nice slip cover there. And then you got the book, which I thought was really neat, uh, very cool. Like I like the um, the feel of this. It has a really nice uh, feel on it. It's like almost like a, a leather feel to it. Uh, very, very neat. So Labyrinth right there. And then I won't show it in like complete detail, but it's a book. So you have kind of like a, a, a making of here. You have art designs, uh, pre post-production stuff. So very cool. And then the last page, you have some really cool designs there. And then Labyrinth on 4k and Blu-ray. Um, so, you know, if you guys don't own this on 4K, if this is a film that you love, um, you can either get the standard release, um, which I think is like $16.99, but if you can find this, I highly recommend it. Uh, again, the movie looks and sounds great. I'm looking forward to watching the entire film, but I wanted to pop in some of my favorite scenes and watch it, and it's the best the movie's ever looked. So, Labyrinth on 4K. Once again, thank you to my buddy Pat for that trade. And the last two things I want to talk about are movies that I have forgot to show in other updates. And these are movies I've seen, so I want to talk about these and recommend these on Blu-ray or 4K. Um, the first one is Promising Young Woman. And speaking of my buddy Pat, uh, my buddy Pat sent this to me 
quite a long time ago, and I just totally forgot to show it in any of my previous updates. So um, this movie right here, I love. Uh, I didn't know too much about it going into it. I saw the trailer, and this trailer looked great. The movie um, is definitely... Um, I wouldn't say the trailer was mismarketing. The trailer, I thought it was going to be something different compared to when I saw the movie. Uh, I thought the trailer looked great. I was going to see it, but the movie is way better. Um, again, the trailer, I wouldn't say it's misleading. I don't know if you would say it's misleading, but it's the movie will surprise you. Um, I love Promising Young Woman. This was one of my favorite movies of last year um, or yeah, I would say last year. I think it came out in 2020. Um, but yeah, it, it was just one of my favorites of last year. I love their performances. Carrie Mulligan, our lead um, actress in this film, she is fantastic in this movie. Um, it has some surprises. Again, the trailer. Again, I don't want to say it's misleading, but um, it surprises you. The movie surprises you. It, there's a lot more to it than what the trailer gives. Um, that's that's what I was going to say. Um you know, there's a lot more to it. And um, for me, this was definitely a surprise of last year and uh, one of my favorites. Uh, great cast in this movie. A lot of familiar faces. Uh, again, surprises in this movie. And um, yeah, Promising Young Woman. If you haven't watched it yet, if you've just bought it, give this one a watch or go pick it up. I think it's on sale at some places now. But um, Promising Young Woman. So, Pat, thank you for that, buddy. I know it's been a... I haven't shown it yet. I know you sent it a while ago, but um, I wanted to talk about it, give you a shout out again, and uh, talk about this movie. Again, I, I love this film. Um, it will surprise you. So, but yeah, Promising Young Woman. And the last thing I wanted to talk about is something that I don't know if I've shown in an update yet. I got the UK 4K um, edition of this movie way before we got a DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K announcement of it here in the US. Um, but that is Zack Snyder's Justice League. So this is the UK 4K edition. Just comes with the 4K of the movie. Um, I've talked about this movie before, so I'm not really going to talk about it too much. But I wanted to show this off, being that we just got a US release on DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K. Um, I love this movie. You guys probably already know that. I'm a big fan of Zack Snyder. I'm a big fan of his DC movies. I know he's kind of 50-50, but I love Man of Steel. I love Batman v Superman, especially the Ultimate Edition. And I'm so happy we finally got Zack Snyder's Justice League on DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K. Again, I picked up this 4K from the UK just because... I couldn't wait. Um, you know, I got this maybe four months ago or three months ago, uh, but we finally have a U.S. release. So if you guys want to pick this movie up on DVD, Blu-ray or 4K and say if you have a 4K, this is a must 4K to own, guys. Uh, it's going to be the same transfer. It looks and sounds great. This is the way we should have had Justice League in the beginning. I'm not one that completely hates the 2017 movie. But when you, you hear about, you know, the backstory of that movie, um, you hear about the stuff that went behind the scenes of that film. I like that movie less and less. Um, where Zack Snyder's Justice League, this is the way to watch Justice League. Um, you can like the 2017 movie. Again, I find it likable. Um, but rewatching both of them and watching them back to back or comparing them this is the way to watch it. It's uh, four hours long, so you could split it up or watch it as a, you know, complete four hour movie in one watch. Um, it does go by quick. It's very, very entertaining, guys. And I love this movie. So I wanted to talk about that 4K real quick. I know it's the UK release. Again, I got this way before we actually even got an announcement here in the US. And so I wanted to uh, show this off and talk about it real quick. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this update. I know it's almost 30 minutes long, but I had some stuff to show and I wanted to talk about some stuff. Um, everybody I gave a shout out to, I will put their channels down in the description um, if they have YouTube channels. Again, mid-level media, Ken, fantastic guy. Brian Goes Blue, Coco too. I love both of them. Their channel's fantastic. Thank you to my buddy Pat for doing some great, some great trades. 
And uh, once again, guys, just thank you for your love and support. Um, almost 13 years, guys. I cannot believe I've been on YouTube for almost 13 years. But your love and support keeps me going, guys. You guys are the best. So, um, you know, always remember um, to um, uh, be yourself. I'm kind of rambling on everywhere. But always remember to be yourself. I hope you guys have a happy day. Uh, wherever you are, have a great day. It's Sunday here. So happy Sunday. Um, but thank you guys again for your love and support. So um, as always, you guys are awesome. You guys rock. In with the positive, out with the negative. Go eat some Skittles. So much love to you all. And uh, remember, always be yourself because you guys are amazing and you guys are beautiful. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. All right, guys. Bye.